Hi guys, Jason here and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 17 player review on my channel and in today's video guys I'm going to be reviewing 87 rated man of the match Thiago. So in 27 matches he managed to score me 30 goals and get me 4 assists from the centre forward position what is very good. Now getting into his standout in game stats he has 87 balance, 93 agility, 91 long shots, 85 shot power and 93 dribbling. So if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while now, you will realise that he also reviewed his Inform card. So his Inform and Man of the Match card have exactly the same specialities and traits, there's no difference between them. The only big difference I could tell though on the card was that his shooting felt slightly better, even though his Inform card already has amazing shooting, and he felt slightly more stronger on the ball, so he's able to push off defenders more often than not compared to his Inform card. So now getting into his pros and cons, his pros and cons are again exactly the same as his Inform card, what are dribbling, free kicks and shooting. As I said in the previous review, um, this guy does have the best free kicks on the game in my opinion. I had 10 or 11 free kicks and I think I only missed one of them. This guy is literally the free kick king. And as well as that, I also do think that this guy has some of the best, if not the best, long shots on the game. As you'll see in these clips, I scored so many good long shots and volleys with him. So he's one of the best players if you like taking long shots and the game. So overall, I would say that yes, I would recommend picking up this card over his Inform card. Just because how, even though these like, there's only slight differences between them, that extra shooting and um, extra strength does come in handy sometimes. So yeah, for the extra 40,000 to 50,000 coins you will be paying for this card, I would definitely recommend to go and pick it up. So now getting into his con, what is his stamina? As we said again in the previous review, his only con he really has is his stamina. You know, around the 70th minute mark, he always seems to get tired and his stamina is in that red bar. So you're probably going to have to sub him off. So anyway guys, if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye.